welcome to the first part of the course, the first lesson. Okay, I'm really excited today because this is the first one. So I'm really excited to meet all of you guys later. Until now, I'm just gonna do like a quick introduction of the alphabet and some tricks and tips about pronunciation because Nor Norwegian can be a little bit difficult sometimes because of the pronunciation, especially it's the number one problem with Norwegian is the pronunciation, okay? That's why I'm gonna focus a lot in this course on pronunciation, okay? So what I'm gonna start with just really quickly is the alphabet which I want you to learn the basic pronunciation of the letters. And um, I also just want to say like a side note that if you don't know 100% everything, all the rules, all the single pronunciation, <clears throat> it's not really important that you remember everything. It's just that you know when it comes up that you understand it and can use it a little bit because it's kind of, the reason why I say it is because later when you start using the region and you start going with the weeks with me and in the course, it's going to be really, easier because you're not going to even think about it you're just going to apply them okay so it's going to be it's going to come naturally even though if you don't 100 percent understand and know all the single rules right here okay it's just a quick introduction so you understand it when it comes up okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to start with um, <clears throat> um the alphabet in norwegian okay so this is the thing right here uh, as you can see i put also the last three letters which are a uh, o which are the which are the three letters that are different from the, for example, from the English alphabet, okay? So pay real attention to that one and, and I will show you the pronunciation really good, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is just read all the letters and pay real attention to my mouth because I'm gonna thumb how I use them because um, that's why I put myself in a, in a kind of like a square box here because I want you to see my mouth when I speak so you can kind of mimic them and see how I put my thumb and how I use it, you understand? So that's what I'm gonna do right here. And I try to write like a parenthesis of the kind of the how it's written behind it. So. That's what it means. So when it's on the A and put a small A behind, it's just to show you how it's pronounced kind of in, from a Norwegian perspective, like with words, like with letters, okay? So that was that is what the parenthesis behind me, okay? So the first letter is A. So A. Then we have B. B. And then C. C. D. D. E, E, F, F, G, G, H, H, I, I, J, J, K, K, L, L, M, M, N, N. Okay, so that's what the first first half. Hope you see a little bit how it's pronounced. If you want, you can also go back because that's why I recorded also. You can go back and, and really rehearse it and really see my mouth and, and, and try to kind of do the same, try to do the same pronunciation yourself. Okay, so this was the first half. The next one is U, U, P, P, Q, Q, R. R, okay, this letter right here, R, can be difficult for a lot of people, especially if, if you're from an Asian country or something, especially those people, they have problems pronouncing this one because um, it's different, they don't really use it that much. So that's why I'm gonna put a little bit of focus on it. R, you see how my, my, my tongue goes like R, okay? So kind of like it's, um, that's how I, I, we say it in, in Norwegian. It can be a bit uh, difficult for some people if you practice it a little bit, and also when you start using Norwegian, it's going to be really, really helpful because we use it quite a lot. <laughs> so yeah. And then we have S, S, T, T, U, U, V, V, Dobert, V, Dobert, V. Dobert just means double. So it's like W in English. Dobert, V, X, X, E, E, Set, set, a. This is the first one, which is different from the other alphabets. A, a. Next one is ö, ö, o, o. Okay. So this is the alphabet. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a little bit rules about consonant and vowels. Okay. So we divide the alphabet into consonants and vowels. We have nine vowels and twenty consonants. Okay. So 
look at the pronunciation of the vowels I showed you in the last slide. E, E, O, U, E, A, E, O. Okay, so it's the one that is just one syllable. Okay, so in Norwegian we have um, some occasions where the vowel is short and the vowel is long. Okay, so how do we know which one to use? How do you know which one to pronounce here? Okay, take a look at the rule that we put in the bottom here, which says vowels is before two consonants. Okay, so when a vowel is before a double consonant, double consonant, then it's a short sound. And then when it's before one consonant, it's a long sound. Okay, so look at the examples right here. Just look at uh, the line short. The first word is hot, okay, which means hat. Okay, so you can see here that we have a double consonant, uh, the double T's, and then before that is a vowel, okay? What happens is that we put pressure on a double T. Look at this, hot. Okay, since the, we get pressure on the double T, the A uh, kind of, we don't put pressure on the A, so it's gonna be short, like fast, okay? So look, hot, okay? Since it's double consonant, we put pressure on the double consonant, not the vowel, okay? Hot, okay? Look at the A also, the next one, net, net. Okay, we put pressure on the double, double T again, double consonant, so the E doesn't have the pressure. Look, hot, net, okay? Same with the next one, inna. In there, okay. Press on the double and always going to be like that, okay. Uppe, double focus on the double P. Uppe, okay. Same. Uggen, uggen, flytte, flytte, färre, färre, möte, möte, åtta, åtta, okay. Always pressure on the double constant here, okay. So now that's the short one. So what about the long one here? How can, we, how can we know if it's a long one? You see in the rule, if it's before one constant, okay? If it's not double, then it's just one, okay? So it's like this one, fat, fat. Do you hear the A ah is really long, okay? Fat, okay? Because the pressure is there since it's not double constant, okay? Fat, fat. Same thing, pressure on there, yeah, okay? What about this one with the, uh, with the I? Tina, Tina, okay? The pressure is on that one, okay? It's on the, the consonant because there's no, um, sorry, it's on the vowel because there's no double consonant, okay? Same with O is tu, okay? The pressure is on the O, tu, okay? Next one, bue, pressure is still there. B, pressure is still there. Sad, pressure is there. Öre, pressure is on the Ö. To pressures on the O. Okay, hopefully this makes sense to you. Okay, so you can see those rules right here, and uh, yeah, those are the rules. And I hope hopefully make this makes sense to you because um, it's going to be helpful, really helpful for you later in the course. Later in the region, we're going to speak. When you see words, you know that we you know the pronunciation. Okay, it's going to be really, really good for you. And it's a really good start. That's why I'm making you this in the in the beginning. Okay, okay. So what about the consonants? Okay, the vowels show you the rules. The consonant is pretty standard because uh, we just pronounce them uh, normally. So it's going to be like this. The B, D, F, K, and P. So B, D, K, also B, D, F, K, P. Okay, so B, ball. Okay, ball. Look at the ball. Okay. Dricka, dricka. Finna, finna. Klage, klage. Pröva, pröva. Okay, so they're pretty similar to the, the letter itself here. So you can see, it's pretty standard, this thing is pretty standard, okay? And then I want you to put in the bottom here, I put kind of a rule here, okay? It can be a little bit difficult sometimes because we have some strange words in Norwegian, okay? I'm just gonna need it. Like, for example, you see we have gift, ye, yait, yita, okay? There's a rule here, okay? Because normally you will, will say, yeah, okay? But in this case, okay, for example, um, do you remember the, the pronunciation of ge, which is normal pronunciation? But it becomes, look at the rule right here. Okay, so when, when the G is pronounced, is placed before E, I, and Y, it's pronounced ye. So, gift, G, yait, yite. Okay, the G becomes a J, okay? Is, okay, so the, um, the G, becomes a J, Y, because it's placed before E, Y, or um, Y, okay? So those three letters, okay? 
this thing, um, I want you to see it right now because it's going to come up later. If you don't really 100% understand it or see it right now, it doesn't really matter because I just want you to see that with some words before a letter, it changes the sound, okay? This is going to be probably going to hit me right now because I'm saying this thing. It can be difficult, I know. But as we move on the next weeks, month, months, this is going to be simple for you because it's going to come automatically because when you see a lot of words like that, it's just going to come like automatic, okay? So if you don't understand it 100%, um, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, something uh, crazy, you know? So yeah, don't worry if you don't understand it uh, 100%. Yeah. And then I have put two, two kind of beginning of words right here, which is uh, KG and SKG, okay? Because it's the number one most difficult things for people to, to pronounce. I'm going to give you like an intro. I'm going to we're going to work a lot with those words right here because there's also some other words that are really difficult. This one right here may be the most challenging for people. So I'm going to just give you a quick intro and then we're going to work a lot with this thing. Okay. So look at the first one. KG is pronounced sh. Okay. So sh. So for example, drive is shoulda. Okay. Shoulda. And then we have refrigerator, which is schöleskap. So schöleskap. Okay. I think I like the with the S in front of it, like screen. Sharm. Okay, so it's like sh, kind of the same thing here. Sh, the first one is schöre. Second one, look at this, sharm. Okay. So we have the same sound. Sh, okay. Or schule to hide. Sh, sh. So this sound right here sh, is going to come up in those two cases like with KG and SKG, okay? Shh, this sound right here. So we're gonna work a lot with this thing, don't worry, okay? Just a quick introduction, we see it. Hopefully it makes sense.